Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Tony Shiloh, and I'm here for your Wednesday excerpts to read a excerpt of my newest novel, Her Christmas Redemption. It released yesterday, and I'm super excited for you guys to read it and um, enjoy the holiday cheer wrapped in between the pages. So I'm going to read an excerpt from chapter one and just get it started so you can see how Vivian meets her hero, Michael Wood. Vivian Dupree stared at the mountain of a man perched on the ladder, hanging Christmas lights on the pale yellow gabled farmhouse with a perfect full-length front porch. The shamrock-colored roof had a tan sign dangling from the fascia with the words, general store and office. She could just imagine what the place would look like when the sun set and the white twinkle lights came on. She opened her mouth to get his attention, her breath forming a cloud in the cold winter air. Though they had a little under a month until the calendar welcomed the winter solstice, the temperatures in northwestern Arkansas had already dipped. Excuse me, are you Michael Wood? The man looked over his shoulder, grabbing the edge of the ladder to steady himself. His low-cut fade had sponge twist on the top and had been evenly shaped like the beard and mustache covering the lower half of his face. His brown skin didn't hold a single blemish. Her breath caught at his penetrating stare. His eyes seemed to see right through her, making her feel exposed. Could he tell by a single glance where she'd begun her drive this morning? She gave herself a mental shake. Of course not. She showered and changed into regular clothing instead of the black jumpsuit with county gel written on the back that she'd support, sported the past six months. Yes, ma'am. You Vivian Dupree? His voice held just a hint of an accent as if he'd lived outside Arkansas for a number of years and had learned to curb the southern inflections. I am. Nerves or the cold had her toes wiggling in her boots and her legs jiggling back and forth. The man climbed down the ladder. Welcome to Simplicity Rentals. He stuck out a hand that swallowed her palm right up. Her arm tingled from his touch. How long had it been since another person had given her any positive physical contact? 185 days, but who's counting? She jerked her hand back and cleared her throat. Nice to meet you. I'm here for the long-term rental. Right. I've got you all set in one of the tiny homes. Just need you to add your occupation to the rental agreement and sign. He hitched a thumb over his shoulder toward the front door. Vivian tried for a smile. Though her heart hammered, her parole officer had assured her she didn't need to disclose her incarceration in order to rent with Mr. Wood. Still, what if he discovered her past? Or worse, asked outright. She forced her thoughts to focus on a tiny home. Her mind couldn't wrap around the idea of staying in a home only 200 square feet in space. Of course, that size was better than the 70 square foot cell she used to reside in. Sure, I can do that. I'll be working at the Springs Bible Church. Michael slid his hands into his flannel jacket. Are you a pastor? Wisps of stinging hung in the air between them. Vivian snorted, then clapped a hand over her mouth, trying to prevent derisive laughter from escaping. No one in her former life would ever make that mistake. But this is the new beginning you wanted, where your past doesn't exist. She cleared her throat. Receptionist. The job couldn't compare it to the career she'd had in Little Rock, but she needed a simpler way of life. Ha! Simplicity rentals. Okay, so she was a dork who spent way too much time making commentary in her head. Awesome. Well, miss Miss Anne, but she'll be happy to move on. Yes, she's the one who interviewed me. It had been weird discussing a church position while using the jailhouse phone. The pastor, Liam Johnson, knew about her misdemeanor, but had promised no judgment and to keep her past to himself. Only time would tell if that would prove true. No way Vivian wanted to see the disgust in these people's eyes that had been visible in those of her ex-friends, ex-co-workers, and worst of all, her parents. She'd love to flush her secret down the drain and never revisit again. So that's just a little sneak peek of her Christmas redemption, which released yesterday. You can find it in stores everywhere. Um, you can find it on online retailers. And I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy the season.